Hi there, welcome to my latest video. This one does contain some uh, disturbing scenes, some uh, scary, scary stuff, but uh, I hope you enjoy it anyway. Hi there, welcome to 2015. This year, my films are going to focus on more hard hitting and serious subjects. Uh, I'm going to be starting off with some of the real mysteries of the Scottish borders and this week I'm looking at one of the biggest mysteries which is the Yeti the abominable snowman the Sasquatch now you may be thinking I've never heard of the abominable snowman in the Scottish borders but that's because it's all been covered up by the government because the Tories are thinking we've already got Nessie We've already got the ghosts, so they've kept this story covered up because they wanted to make it it was in the Lake District or something. Anyway, let's take a look first at the famous 1979 footage filmed by a Mr. Dick Stevenson of Gala Shields, which claims to show the Yeti in the forest near Gala. Hi there, my name's Dick Stevenson from Gala Shields. Uh, I'm about to show you this uh, very disturbing uh, video that I took in the woods near Gallish Hills in 1979 with my VHS GoPro camera. Uh, can't even remember what I was doing up the woods that day, I think I was maybe burying one of my victims or something like that, but I heard the noise and I quickly spun round and this is the, the, the scary, scary footage that I caught. scared because I've seen a few a few footprints already. I mean look it's a definite yeti footprint there definitely. Anyway let's let's go on see if we can find this beast. Yeah it's the start of a new year Christmas and all the Hogmanay celebrations of that are over and I don't know if it's just me but I'm fed up here, like, you know. People are asking me all the time, did you have a nice Christmas? Did you have a nice New Year? Nobody asked me if I had a nice weekend or the normal time. What's the difference? Just because 2,000 years ago, Jesus was born. Which nobody even believes in nowadays anyway. Did you have a nice Christmas? Oh, happy New Year. Just another day, isn't it? Just another day. Anyway, I'm digressing from the real reason that I'm here, which is to catch this. Well, I don't want to catch, but to try and find this Yeti and I'll tell you if there was ever a proper Yeti morning it's the day because they love the sun and they love the cold I think you know I'm saying that pees me off when people are saying to me did you have a nice time and all that sort of stuff but the, the big, even bigger problem is I, I fall into that trap myself the, the social etiquette of asking people if they've had a nice Christmas there are people that you've not seen for you are like hi did you have a nice Christmas I just, I just want to go up to him and say, Hey, ah, this year another plane crashed in the Pacific, killing 127 people yesterday. Much better subject, but something to really talk about, you know? I'm just bloody. Did you have a nice Christmas? Oh, hey, we were sit You'll never guess what we've done. My family came round and we all sat down and had our tea together and watched the telly at night. It was brilliant. Honestly, no way, man. Aye, another. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's the Yeti. It's the bloody Yeti. Oi! Oi! Come here! Ah, yeah, come here! Can you believe it? I'm going to do what it Ah, uh, yes, uh, yeah, I'm the AI. It's 
the uh, actually the Scottish Borders Council that employ me to do this. Uh, trying to attract uh, tourists and that like. And, uh, they want me to live as much as possible like a real yeti, so I just kind of just come up here and live in the woods and that. And then once a week they bring up the skip for Asda and I get all the you know, the rotten ties and that and all, all the old meat it keeps us going. If I can't catch can something the other time on that I catch a deer and that and I am starting to get into the lifestyle a wee bit can I'm uh, getting a bit more sort of feral and a bit more brutal with what I eat and that but I'm not really a yeti, I'm just a I'm just a human but it seems to be working, there's a lot of folk coming up to season and that. God that's amazing. I can't even believe it. I've solved the mystery of the eight. How did you, Ken? How did you get any, get any of this? Well, to be honest, I, I got a job with the council in summer, uh, cutting the grass and that like. But uh, I wasn't very quick, so at the end of the summer, the, the ladies off. But uh, I can't. They were looking for somebody to do this. And, well, Ken, I was quite big and quite hairy, so uh, I applied for this and I got this. Because I've been doing it, like, I'd been working delivering the letters and that at Christmas and all to the postman, I think they call it, I was doing that and then I was doing the gear downs and a couple of tonnes of jobs, like, but uh, this has lasted a couple of years now, so it's quite good, like. Oh well, fancy coming a walkways up the, up the Three Brethren, like. I wouldn't mind coming a walk up, up the Three Brethren, really, like, eh? I was uh, out for a walk last week and I uh, lost my binoculars like Do that gala foot I think it was No share Honestly I The guy fed up about that like eh? And this is just surreal isn't it What do you say When you meet a mythical creature A legend People, when you pose that question, who would you like to meet? They come out with historical figures like Jesus or Churchill or... But all that's going to happen, if you meet these historical figures, is they're going to ask you stuff about the future. Oh, what's computers like? Oh, they don't know what's all that. And you're never going to get a chance to ask him anything, are you? So where are you the son of God? And you'll be like, that. Oh, wait a minute. You're telling me that... You get cars nowadays. Aye, cars. That's how it would go on you. Probably usually only get half an hour anyway with these uh, wishes like so. Be a waste of time. Imagine half an hour to interview Adolf Hitler. What'd you say? So Hitler, eh? You did that for me. What are you doing there, man? Jesus, get him out. What you've killed, eh? You'd be like, give me always. Just descend into an argument like there's no, no point in that like. So what do you think of this view then, Mr. Yeti? Superb, isn't it? Ah, it's brilliant, like really good. Do uh do get exposed up here like if anybody sees me or that I've, it's the first time I've ever actually came out of the, the forest for a while. You do care I'm putting this on YouTube, aye? Well anybody to watch, put it on YouTube. I'll get to it. I trusted you, man. You know what they say, you should never let a Yeti down, but I'm not messing up on this chance to expose one of the world's greatest mysteries. Uh, anyway, join me next week on more adventures of solving the mysteries of the Scottish borders. Obviously that was just a, a spoof, it was just made up. Uh, the Yeti was just it's just me with my this food up and sunglasses on like. I think these days there's such a blurred line between what is real, what is reality TV, what is virtual internet reality. I mean there are so many so many videos online these days on Facebook and YouTube and Twitter and that, you don't, you don't know what's real and what isn't it really? Kids are being brought up in that virtual world and you may, you may laugh but there will be people watching that Yeti video at the start and going wow, 
that's a mirror. I didn't realise there was yetis in the woods and get a lot of shields. And you're going, ah, no way, no way, what I'm telling you. There'll be people, maybe just one, maybe two, maybe just one in America or something who picks up that YouTube video by mistake. Wow, yetis and gala shields, I'm going. You know, it's all a bit drawn too distant to the border for me. <laughs> even, even if I get that one person from Dakota or California comes across to see the yeti, I'll be happy. Of course, the perfect end to this video now would be me walking down here and a, a real yeti was to jump out on me, but. I know that's not going to happen. Hope it does like that. Anyway, I guess. Yeah, he's only real in that.